malaria effects and symptoms. Uh, malaria is caused by a parasite, it's usually transmitted by mosquitoes. Uh, there are recurrent attacks of chills and fever. Uh, and it's a deadly disease if, it's, if it goes untreated, or it could be a deadly disease. Uh, it's usually in subtropical countries, uh, although I have seen it in, uh, we've seen it in North America, of course, some, but not much in America. We've seen it mostly in Central America and South America, the West Indies, India, and Africa, in the subtropical and the very warm climates where the mosquitoes thrive and carry this disease uh, with them. Uh, to the to the host it, that is the host to the person who's um, going to be bitten by that mosquito. Uh, some of the uh, symptoms also could be um, severe shaking and chills, increased fever and sweating, uh, an easy feeling on headaches with nausea and vomit and diarrhea. Uh, there have been times that it hasn't been uh, really thought much about for a year. Some maybe some people have recovered, and when they recovered, they hadn't even thought that what had happened to them a, up to a year ago and they start having these symptoms. So that can be up to a year before you could even have some of these symptoms, which is a, a very difficult thing to even think about. Uh, it's really, it really comes with uh, malaise and lethargy or lethargy. And uh, what happens is I, I've seen people that when I was in the mission fields where they would just lay in the back uh, of the truck and they were just felt so badly they just thought they were dying. And at the time, I don't think they cared if they died. Uh, it, they were so bad, they were shaking with fever, and they were cold, and they were hot, and they were, they were vomiting, had diarrhea, they were very, very sick until you could get them to a place to treat them. So uh, it's not something to be uh, sniffed at. It is a deadly disorder, but it's normally seen in tropical and subtropical climates.